So hey everybody, it's Mac and the Jerk. <laughs> Michael Mac, Jeremiah. We're the uh, tasters today for the salt and straw taste test challenge. Uh, Doobie decided to put us up to this. So here we are, we're videoing this on the, what is this, the 26th of April? Yeah, uh, sure. Oh, that speaking right. of what day is this? Uh, so we, we were gonna get the flights, but as I walked in to purchase the flights, they had run out three days after they opened, you know, like places do. Uh, so instead we got four kid scoops and then we're gonna do these four and then we're gonna do four more. So um, yeah, Lord help us all. So we're gonna do four then four. Um, I'd like to sp thank our sponsor, Lactade. <laughs> I'm not lactose intolerant, but I'm going to have a lot of ice cream today, so I decided to be good. So I appreciate that you're yeah, taking the You're welcome. <laughs> but also thank you to our sponsor, Doobie. Yes. Yeah, actually the sponsor of this video. <laughs> okay. So let me pull up our list so I know what we're trying. Mac does not know what we're going to try. Yeah, I learned seconds ago that this is going to be a mystery taste test for me, so this is going to be fun. That's okay, you like one of the ones already, so yeah, you're fine true. with and that. It's very recognizable shit. Yes. <laughs> okay, so, you know, we're good enough friends, so we're just gonna share kind of the same. It's a very intimate experience. Did yes. you trick us into going on a date? Is I think so. Yeah, I think that's what it was going for. Okay, we got a good one here. But I think we should probably take like a scoop and do it at the same time. Okay. All right, so you do know what this one is. Yes. I, uh, I have an idea. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you tell. know what this one is. Doobie gave us a list. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> that is very good. Mm -hmm. That is a chocolate gooey brownie. It is a rich chocolate and the brownies are very good, but they aren't huge chunks, which, help, which helps a lot. Yeah. It's that's really good. I mean, it's good chocolate ice cream. I think to me though, the thing that excites me about salt and straw is the idea of like the really unique flavors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm excited to try some of the other ones. But I mean, this is like if I wanted chocolate ice cream and with brownie and everything, yeah. I'd, I'd go with this. This, this is really good. This is what the person at the counter was suggesting. If you like chocolate, this is the way to go. Oh yeah. But she did recommend one of our other ones as a good option if you want something different. So I think that'll probably be in max. So we're just gonna take one bite and then move on? I think so. I think otherwise we'll probably, uh, yeah, don't worry, none of this ice cream is gonna go to waste. No, no. <laughs> okay, you pick the next one. All right, well, uh, this one's closest to me, so. Somehow I think here. this is the one I know I'm not gonna like. Uh oh. Ooh. No, this one. Um, I don't know what that is. Well, go ahead and try it. All right, well, let's see. Make sure I get some of this yeah, the, apparently strawberry goo on top. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of goo. <laughs> Alright, let's go for it. Nope. Wow. <laughs> that was... I had, I had hopes for that one, but it... It ended up being exactly what I thought it was gonna be. That is a very, very strong taste that, that I mean, it's strawberry. I don't know what else this is though. It's the basalt, balsamic, wow. strawberry, yeah. Okay, I actually, I really like this. Um, I think, I gotta try, I gotta go, go for like for the actual ice cream in here that's not just like the goo. Yeah, the um, strawberry that is strong. what's super strong. I will actually try some more of that too. Oh, oh, that's weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, so if the strawberry, the, the, that goo that you see on top, there's probably a different word for it than other than goo that's more appetizing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's all strawberry. The ice cream itself is like balsamic and I think it's cracked pepper yes. or something like that, yeah. Which I that's was actually weird. like expecting more of the cracked pepper. The basalt, the balsamic sticks out the most and it definitely does, the strawberry helps the flavor. Yes, yeah. I really like it actually. It's not bad, but it's, it's, it's not very one powerful. that I would, yeah. <laughs> Coming off of the chocolate, which was like, it's chocolate ice cream, you know what you're getting. That is like an explosion of flavor. It would be good if we had water or something. Probably. Or, or, Probably. Uh, Beverly. Idea. Beverly would be good. Beverly would be a terrible idea. That would yeah. be um, not good. But technically, <laughs> they don't sell water in there. They, yeah. they sell a mineral water, but uh, I saw that afterwards. 
<laughs> okay, so let's go with this one. Okay, good. <laughs> This Again, one you can is, kind of tell what that is. Yeah, pretty clear. Yeah, this is one that I was excited to try. Yeah, I mean, no, no spoilers, but that's cookie dough. Yeah, <laughs> which is my favorite ice cream flavor in general. Okay. So that's good. That is the salted malted cocoa chip cookie dough. Yeah. I, I get the salt, like yeah. there's a saltiness to it. I think, I, I like when cookie dough has like big chunks of cookie mm -hmm. dough in it. So you can like really, you know, taste that. Um, the ice cream itself is, though, is really good though. Like the, the flavor is, I think the salt adds a lot to it. Yeah, the it's not, salt. Like, super salty or anything, but it's. It's not, that's, that's definitely the part of it. It's not a sweet taste. Yeah. It is more the salt. So yeah. that is not the ice cream that I would choose because I like my sweetness. <laughs> and I now, agree. Let's see which one is Jeremiah is clearly not excited about this one. What is this? It's like Christmas opening up a present. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now I know why he's not excited yeah. about it. Uh, well, just it's the honey lavender, yeah. and <laughs> I we both tried this already, and I was not a fan. We this is what actually started this whole yeah piece <laughs> testing. So go ahead. I uh, I probably should have prefaced this by saying at the top that I am not a picky eater. I will eat and enjoy most things. I have gotten to that point in my life where yes, I will, but this one for me. It, it <laughs> still tastes like cleaning supplies. It, like, it's, it's floral. It, there's a, I mean, it's honey lavender, so it's, it's light on the sweetness. Definitely a floral taste. I like it though. I think it's like on a hot day, Yes. If I'm gonna walk around Disney Springs and eat ice cream, I'm gonna go with this one and not the chocolate gooey brownie. Good, you thing. can finish that one. We'll take the chocolate. <laughs> um, no, it definitely tastes better than the first time I had. I think the first time there may have been some, the scooping may have cross contaminated okay. with the different flavors. Not bad, but. And it's such a nice color. Look at that. Oh, it, but it does. It, it's like you just walked into somebody that cleaned a house very nicely <laughs> and you had your mouth open and that's the taste of that. So out of the four, what are you saying is the best? That is really difficult because, I mean, I love cookie dough. Um, that's my go-to flavor across the board usually. But the most interesting is by far that, that balsamic, uh, strawberry, cracked pepper, whatever it is. Wow, I, I mean, I want I want more of it right now. So it is, you know, it succeeded that mission. What about you? I, I'm going with the uh, gooey chocolate yeah. brownie just because I haven't had a good chocolate brownie ice cream in a while. Okay. And that was really good. And again, I, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm usually like, oh yeah, great taste, new. But this, <laughs> I'll stick with the good old standbys for this one. Um, our next four will be an interesting mix. It does have my favorite out of the ones I tasted so far from Salt and Straw in there. And uh, then we've got some definite, the <laughs> olive excited. oil one is the yeah. one that I'm most interested in trying and seeing my face on video for that one. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. We're back for part two, or four, four you guys were two seconds ago. <laughs> um, I did not trust myself to remember what all the flavors were, so I had them right on them. <laughs> uh, but we'll still do mystery for Jeremiah here. Okay. Um, although I'm pretty sure you know which one this is, because I know you've enjoyed this one. The cinnamon snickerdoodle, I will just call this one out. <laughs> it is so good. It, if you like Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal, this is it in ice cream form. So, have you had this one before yet? No, I haven't okay, actually. I'm take excited your big to try scoop. it. All right. Um, but you won't like it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way, if it's, listen, CTC. Yeah. That's, that's all me, I, that's all about it. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. It is. It's like at the end of the bowl when you have the milk left and there's mm -hmm. just the powder. That's exactly. But in what ice that cream is. form. Yeah. So like, oh, that's so good. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah this is my favorite one so far. Um, I was gonna say, uh, I'm a big Cinnamon Toast Crunch CTC fan. <laughs> and uh, right around the corner, we've got uh, Everglades, the, the donut shop mm -hmm. there, and they had their Cinnamon Toast Crunch donut. Unbelievable. Just get the ice cream, put it on top. Oh. There we go. It's way too much sugar. But this is really, really good. I don't know if we even gave a look, but yeah, it, yeah, that's so good. Yeah, that's that's definitely my go-to here. That's yeah, I could see that being mine too. Okay, and I think everything else is going to be brand new to me, so I have no clue what it is tastes like. All right, so I think she mislabeled this one. By the way, I want to say while I was in there, the staff in uh, Salt and Traw is fantastic. Oh yeah, they are so friendly and will answer any one of your questions. They obviously they. They have a lot of weird flavors, so they're getting a lot of questions, but they are more than happy to answer any questions and ask for samples. Try, yes, try all please. of them. please. Like, uh, that's the one thing about it that I love and the one thing I hate is if everybody's trying their samples, the line get long, but it's better to try a small scoop than walk out paying. Yeah, you know, absolutely. An adult scoop is $6, and a big one scoop is massive. These are just the kid scoops which I, I would say is fine for one person. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. So, uh, you wanna take a guess at what the, this one is? I don't know what we have left. Is this the uh, donut? <laughs> this the... is, this is the salty donut, guava, and cheese. And um, I have a little bit of information about this, but I'll, I'll share I, after I we try like it. I feel like I need to get yeah, some yeah, of the Yeah, yeah, make chunk. sure you get some of the, there is donut in this. Yeah. <laughs> It is a very interesting mm -hmm. flavor. <laughs> like I can taste the guava, I think the most. Um, and again, it's like the the salted one where it's not overly sweet. It's right. more of the it's there, more of the cheese. There, there, yeah, there's like a sour like tartness to it. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very different flavor. So it's kind of confusing because it's called the salty donut guava and cheese. The Salty is actually a local donut shop that <laughs> Salt and Straw uh, partners up with. Um, it's in, I think, Winter Park. Uh, they're incredible. They do just ridiculous donuts. So uh, they have partnered up for this ice cream flavor. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a really, it's a very unique. Yes. Like, I I can't, <laughs> I can, like I said, I can taste the guava, the, the, the citrusy yeah. is there, but I can't really taste the cheese, which I'm fine with, but there's also not a lot of sweetness for it. Yeah, it's it's different. It's, uh, yeah, I think unique yeah. is probably the, the best word for it. It's very I like it, unique. Though. It's very <laughs> exactly. unique. Yeah. This one here, I don't, I'm not gonna make you guess because I don't think you'll have any way of knowing what this possibly could be. This is the ice cream of Moo. This is a limited uh. edition flavor there. Uh, so little peek behind the curtain. We ordered these according to a list that Doobie gave us. Uh, he, took, he ordered the salted ganache. It's not a flavor that they have. Uh, so she kind of assumed what I meant by that. And I, I caught halfway through, I was like, I don't know what salted ganache is. It's not a flavor on the board. She's like, I think you meant the ice cream of Moo. And so that's what we've got here. Which is a student designed ice cream. And they have five or six different flavors yeah. up there. Um, I tried Rosie the Flamingo when I was here the other day, and it's a very strong strawberry with like a, uh, I wanna say it was a, a gummy bear that they make in house. Um, I will usually like strawberry, but it was so over the top strawberry. It was one of those ones where I took the bite and I made the face like it has pop rocks <laughs> in it. Kind of like the, the balsamic one did that to me. Like yeah. it was such a strong flavor. Um, the One of the other ones is uh, llama knot or something like yes. that. Uh, and that's like a chocolate black cherry, which sounds really good. I think so that that's something I'll have and, to try in the future. And they all have stories. Like I was looking at their website and you know, they're created by students and the the llama knot is a llama that goes into space. And it, <laughs> the Rosie the Flamingo, of course, is about a flamingo. And I don't remember Does what the, the story is. into space as well? I don't think so. I think they, <laughs> it's two separate stories. Got it, okay. they, they may come together in like the major Avengers right. type. Right, in, in the Salt and Straw CU. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's try the ice cream of Moo. The ice cream of food. I'm taking a like big a, bite. There's like a, a salted ganache in this. It is a chocolate ice cream. I don't know if I gave a look at it or not, but. Yeah, it, it has a band of chocolate or caramel. That's good. Um, ooh. Yeah, that I got, after. I, yeah, I got taste. more caramel afterwards, yeah. but um, 
as these flavors go, it's fairly plain. Yeah. I think it's mostly just chocolate ice cream, but then you get that that caramel afterwards. It's good. Yeah. I like it. No, I definitely agree. It's it, one of the things like I think we're realizing with all the salt and straws is they aren't overly sweet. Well, unless you have the rosy flamingo and it's just pure strawberry. That one does kind of taste like any caramel type ice cream. Yeah. Like, right across the board it's an easy go-to it's a good option for like people who are going in there looking for something more tame more yeah. normal um that was the ice cream of moo we have one more and uh we went through a list at the beginning so we had to kind of have an idea of what's left over here wow first off look at this perfect scoop yeah. it is still like it's been sitting out here it's not melted at all it is just a perfect scoop this is the olive oil i, I forget the name the Al albertina yeah it, olive oil this is the one that I have not been looking forward to the most. But I'm looking forward to it. But I mean, olive oil, so. Was that a Tony joke? I prefer to call it a Mac joke. But. <laughs> if we haven't done the, the smelling. That's true. Yeah. There is no smell to this at all. No, there's not. Okay. That's weird. Let's go. So the first thing that got me is the texture. Like it is way creamier yeah. than like it's that's why it's not melting at all. It's a very different texture from the rest of the ice cream. It's almost like butter. Yeah, it, it very, very thick. It's it's not a super strong taste. Okay, now I can taste that it's like olive oil, have yeah. that aftertaste. Um, but it's when you first take a bite, it's kind of like just vanilla. But um, a little little off, like yeah. you, you kind of taste it, you're like, mm, there's something. I don't, I think it's, it is not high on the dislike list or low on the like oh, list. Yeah. I think it kind of just falls in the, yeah, I had it. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that's true. I don't know that I would buy it again, um, yeah. but I'm glad I tried it. I didn't, I didn't dislike, I didn't dislike any of the flavors we had. Um, I think I have an idea of what your favorite is of the oh, four yeah, we just did. Absolutely, yeah. The, the <laughs> cinnamon, I mean, the, uh, the snickerdoodle. snickerdoodle. Yeah, that's that's my favorite as well. Though if I if I wanted to get adventurous and try some of the weirder flavors, uh, I think the I think overall the strawberry balsamic was um, my favorite. Yeah, I don't the, even know that I would. Well, no, the the, the strawberry or the guava um, donut one that was that's different. Yeah, um, yeah that's. That olive oil is gonna stick with me. Like that's like, it's so weird. It's such a different. I, I, take take a sample of it next time you yeah. get a salt and straw because it's bizarre. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, and again, it's not bad. No, it's not at all. I could definitely eat a full, you know, whatever three scoops if they gave me a giant waffle cone of this. I could. Yeah, <laughs> that, uh, th that is definitely the thicker. Like that yeah. will be the the lactate from earlier will be paying off working for that over time. Yeah. yeah. No, it, it's. I think that's a difference. I need to take a second. Personality, yeah. I, I feel like I, it's it's confusing almost. <laughs> I need to go back in for more. Um, I think that's a difference, like personality-wise, between. The, I mean, I don't know if you can call it personality, but I will eat eight scoops of any one of these ice creams, or I would eat all eight different scoops in one sitting. So ha go back for a second. Okay. It's actually. It, I think with the melted, it. it it adds a little something to it. <laughs> Man, this is like, this is an experience. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's not a scoop, it's an experience. That's good though, I like it. Yeah, it, it's much, well, it's it's 100 times better than I expected, because I was expecting Well, 100 it. times zero is still zero. Exactly. So, <laughs> yeah. math. I started at one. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, I'm not gonna take a second, but, yeah, I mean, you can tell by looking, it is still a scoop. It is still cold. Yeah. So it is very solid. And let's, let's compare that. Like, let's, this is the ice cream of Moo here. Yeah, that was our... And yeah, look at that. Look at the difference. Look at the, the difference in the texture of them right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty crazy. They're like ice cream scientists. In there. <laughs> well, the ice cream of Moo was created by some eight-year-old kid, so he, he's... Brilliant. He is honored times smarter than we are. And there are the birds signaling get off my porch. 
yeah so i think we are i think we are done here uh salt straw definitely recommend yeah i mean it is it's a unique ice cream experience and you know, down here at disney springs you don't have a lot of options yeah but the nice thing again is you can go in there and sample you don't just walk in there and go with the um cinnamon snickerdoodle because that's the basic which is what i did because i'm glad that we did this so i could try the things yeah now i will go back to the cinnamon snickerdoodle every time <laughs> right yeah <laughs> Uh, I don't know if, if I will personally just go for the cinnamon sticker to rule. It was my favorite, but there's so many interesting flavors on this menu that I'm probably going to want to try something different every time, I think. Yeah, I, I'm up for trying, especially the student tastes. The, those seem very interesting, so I'll be yeah. looking forward to those as they change those. Yeah, up. they will have new flavors every month, they told me, so that's exciting uh, and, and depressing for my wallet. Samples, samples. samples exactly, Wasn't it Doobie yeah. that said he sn he sampled his way around the uh, right. the Bahamas on the Disney Cruise Line? <laughs> uh, yeah, and speaking of Doobie, uh, thank you again for uh, sponsoring this little taste test because you yourself were so curious about all of these flavors. Yeah. Um, if you really like this video, be sure to comment below uh, and tell us where else Doobie should buy us food. I'm thinking Victorian albums. I, I think I so know, also. I mean, we could be dressed up. I mean, we'll start there, and then we can work our way down. Right? Yeah, you know? we'll start at Vic and Albert's, <laughs> and then work our way down to like, you know, Earl of Sandwich. Sure, sure. Actually, I, I'm gonna go to Earl of Sandwich probably for lunch right now. Anyway, I'm gonna eat the rest of this ice cream. <laughs>